They don't feel my pain when I talk to them. I love you, so sad. Sign told me to stop going. Them bitches got red and green lasers. Why did the stop or go on? I took my main check, with my main check. It's a lot going on. I might be the problem. They like, stop what you doing. No cap, I keep me a top shot. They like, Kwan, you're a dog. What's up, y'all? We back with another episode of Mom and Spotlight. I'm your host, Sean. I'm joined here today with Baltimore Rapper Project Kwan. What's up, bro? How you doing? Shout out. Cool. What's up, bro? Appreciate you coming on. Appreciate you having me. Yeah. Of course, most definitely. To get things started, um, growing up in Baltimore, how was that for you? It's like really like surviving for real, for real. Right. Basically, like I'm from the project, so it's like you get it how you live. You might have it one day, the next day you don't, for real. Like you growing up, you see killing, robbing, stealing, dealing. You see all that shit for real. So it's basically like how you adapt to your environment, for real. Like. How you see shit is how you gonna grow up for real. How you think for real, how you move, that's how you gonna grow up. The niggas you're around, you, you feel me? The niggas you look up to, that shit. Shit like that for real. That's the type of shit that's really going Touch your focus for real. Right, so you would say like, your neighborhood different from other neighborhoods around the city? To me it is, to other people they might say it's the same, but to me it is. We ain't like, we ain't like these other neighborhoods, you feel me? Like. We run with our niggas and we don't really accept outsiders type shit, you feel me? Like, it's just us, uh, our niggas. Like, yeah. Nothing for more, nothing less than that, you feel me? Like, the niggas that's with us, that's the niggas we gonna rock with from the start, you feel me? Our hood is different. Everybody that's in our hood, we been in there for years and years and years, like decades, this shit running our family, mm -hmm. generations, generations. I got family, I lived in Gilmore my home 60 years. 60 years? 60 years, no cap. So that's some generational living. You feel me? Like, it's, we run this one for real. Like, we're a unit. All of my niggas, they, that's us, that's We different, we don't rock with no outsiders. Other niggas, you see how it's like, other niggas grow up in the hood, and then they like branch off from the hood, you feel me? If they like not fucking with one nigga or fucking with two niggas, they branch off, they do that, no. My niggas, if we ain't saying eye to eye, we gonna holler at each other, bro. I ain't feeling this, I ain't feeling this. Get your shit together. We ain't shit but we, we ain't with none of that. We all we got, you feel me? Right. One get knocked down and one gotta step up, you feel me, type shit. That's all. You all like a real, like real big fan. Real, yeah, we big on like, you feel me. Brother That's how it's supposed like, to be though. My family. It's like, like a brother, it's not even really like a, it's like a brotherhood really, honestly. Honestly, you feel me? We a unit. Mm -hmm. His mother might not be my mother, but I might call her my mother, you feel me? Because she outraged, you yeah. feel me? Mm -hmm. we, you feel me? We all live in the same shit, even if you from down bottom. I'm from up top, you feel me? We might not have fucked with each other years before, but you feel me? As the years pass, you might bump into a nigga be like, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? And then you be like, oh, shit, you feel me? Now we locked in with down bottom and up top type shit, you feel me? There's a bunch of collaborations going on. So, um... Growing up, what's some of the challenges you face? Shit, you know. You know, niggas go through, some niggas go through poverty, some niggas don't, you know. It's been times, you know. Younger, you know, you got the lights go out, the water not working type shit. You gotta just thug that shit out for the time being, you feel me? The cable might not be working or you might not got no fool, you feel me, type shit, you feel me? Everybody done went through it. Me, it was like, I went through a struggle, but then, you feel me, my mother still tried at the end of the day type shit, you feel me? So it's like, the struggle ain't really looked like a struggle because I was focused on the other shit type shit, you feel me? Like, it might not been a lot, but to me it was something because I, a nigga really, you feel me, wasn't getting nothing compared to what other niggas was getting, you feel me? You might see a kid who got the new shoes and, you feel me, the new shirt, the new pants, you get hand me down, you just shit too big, you feel me, type shit. You ain't worried about that shit because you got it, type shit. You just happy you got something to wear, like. Man, you not even trying to pay stuff at that point. You just you feel me, you, you just get. going with the motions until your time come, you feel me. But stuff like that, it's going like, it's going to make you what it's going to break you. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Especially coming up, like, you'll see a kid, like, in school, they have some real nice stuff. But even then, you don't know what that kid really be dealing with. Right, you at really the end don't. of the day, at, Behind them closed doors, you don't know what the fuck going on with you them know. type shit, you feel me? Like, yeah. they might be going through some way worse shit than what you see in they school got type shit, you feel me? They just not telling you because they got so much going on inside. They don't want to really lash out on a nigga, that's what you feel me. You got to stop. You can't really, that's why you can't really down a nigga at the end of the day, too, because 
everybody got to come up. You just don't never know when that shit going to come, you feel me? And everybody going to be down one day. You just don't never know when that shit going to happen. That's why you can't never down a nigga, bro. Well, fast. I be saying it's like, um, everybody get a turn. You know what I'm saying? But you yeah. get multiple turns. Every, you can get yeah, five turns every, in one year. In one year, you feel me? It's all about, three years. it's all about how you take you feel me it's all about how you take the loss like i don't take them as losses i take them as lessons you feel me i learn what not to do the next time you feel me because what happened before so when did you first discover you was musically talented probably when i was like i want to say like 10 like yeah like 10 or 11. it started i was living in the projects me and my man giants for real he came to my house one day it was in the summertime. He came to my house one day with two pencils. He started beating on the table, you feel me? He started beating on the table with the pencils. And then, you know, as a kid, you gonna say anything when you rapping. So I just start rhyming, saying anything type shit. And then he just was like, shit, bro, that's hard. We kids, you feel me? Like, that's hard. So then after that, I'm just like, cool. That's what I'm gonna do, you feel me? When I get older, I'm gonna rap, I'm gonna rap. Then, I recorded my first song probably like I was 13. Three years later? Yeah, I was 13. I recorded my first song in my man Joey Basement. Free Joey, yeah. Free my man Joey Bones. We was in his basement. He was, uh, that nigga was a fucking, I don't even, he was like a little geek. He was smart as shit, but he was like crazy for real. Like, Damn, nigga was crazy, out. but he was smart for real. So he was into that computer shit. So one day I was just like, bro, I'm trying to rap. And he was like, you trying to rap? I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to rap. I did the motherfucking, the energy beat. I think that's Drake, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did that shit for real. Then after that, I'm just like, fuck it. That's what I'm going to do. Time and time and time and time. Then I'll be in fucking school. I'll be in the class, me and my man, Trey Pound. One day we downloaded, like, it was, I think it's called Audacity, for real. It's like a little recording software. We downloaded a class one day. We was in there trying to make beats and record in the middle of a class. So, like, this shit always been at me, for real. I just needed time and time to really progress. So you 10 years old, and you were having that rap, but you was able to still, like, rhyme and everything? Yes. Yeah. Just fish it out. Yeah, just, that easy. yeah, you know, go with the flow, whatever, just, whatever come to my mind, just, just say it, for real, for real. It's freestyle. So I, we're, uh, we're going to get back to y'all later and we're going to talk to our sponsors real quick. Okay, let's do it. Fuck you, literally, I don't fuck with you, I hope you die, I don't. Never gave me shit. My body Yo, it's your boy King Man, aka the best you two out of our straight fast, no kizzy cat. And if you just enjoyed that little preview, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have pranks, public interviews, blind dates, all that. If you want to see more, definitely type in King Man and definitely subscribe. Appreciate it. When you was 13, like you released your first stuff. So your first studio session, like how did that come about? Like, my, like in a real studio? Yeah, like an actual studio. Like, was you nervous? Yeah, I was nervous as a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Because it's like, it's different. You you working with somebody else. And then it's like you in a real studio. So it's like, shit, I got to really do this shit. You feel mm. me? I, this ain't no in the basement type shit. This some real, this some real high tech shit. So if I ain't gonna lie, my first time in there, I had the little jitters. Like a little bit, but then after that, like, I just knocked that shit out for real. Just okay, when you went there, you had no time for playing. You be really paying for this. Yeah. So how did you like overcome that? Like, be like, all right, I just gotta be serious and just do what I gotta do. Cause I'm just thinking to myself, like, that's what I want to do. You feel me? That's how I'm gonna get my money. That's how I'm gonna get my bread. I don't give a fuck how long it take. You feel me? I'm gonna do this shit. You hopping so, there on man time. Yeah, you feel me? I got a lock in. You feel me? And that was the one I was like. I probably turned like 17 or 18. Keep it 100. I probably like turned 17 or 18. That was my first time really in that. Really going in there and really doing my thing for real. Matter of fact, it was on my birthday. Thank you, Cousin Todd, for real. Because I ain't going to lie, she booked that shit for my birthday. Well, that's she dope. Like, Shout out to like, Cousin Todd. Yeah, she like, 
my birthday gift to you is like the studio, since that's what you want to do for real. I'm going to get you in there, and then you just going to have to knock it out. I went in there and did my thing. You feel me? How many songs you record that night? Um, I ain't going to lie. I only, it was my first time in there, so it took me a little longer than usual, so I recorded two, two songs. I recorded two songs. Oh, that's a lot. You feel me? Two songs. It's, all, it's out on all platforms, too. It's called Loaded for real. Go get it out everywhere. When you first like started rapping pools and now was like was everybody like supporting it or was, like it was it kinda hard to like get people to like listen to it or did you already have like the, the It was like you know it, you know how I'd be it'd be like they be like, You ain't a rapper, you ain't a rapper, you ain't a rapper, you ain't yeah. a rapper. Play something for me, play something for me, play something yeah, for mm -hmm. me type shit. So that's how it was. It wasn't really no you can't rap type shit, cause it was like, you feel me? At one point I used to do like I used to do like freestyles on my Instagram, you feel me? Like, Used to do like freestyles on my Instagram, like once a week. You feel me? Just thumb up there on my Instagram for real type shit. Like that's how I was doing it. You feel me? Then I got a couple people fighting with me. You feel me? Like then that's how I really got out there. You feel me? Not out there, out there, but that's how people started knowing me. You feel me? Like oh, you the nigga that rap. You the nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Type shit. You feel me? Spit something. Do the freestyle. Do the freestyle. You feel me? Type shit. Or send me this song. Send me that song. Let me get this. Can I get that? You feel me? Type shit. That's how it was. You feel me? And then I ain't gonna lie. You know you go. You get the people that be like shit. You phony. You phony. I ain't fighting with bro. I ain't fighting with bro. Type oh, shit. Yeah. You feel me? But you just take that on the chin. Like you don't really. You don't really worry about that shit, you feel me? Because I'll be like, at the end of the day, you going to win, and them niggas going to be like, damn, dummy. I remember when I wasn't even fucking with you. Now I you're really, phony. you feel me? Like, Man. now you're really buzzing type shit. You Growing up, um, who was some of like, the rappers and stuff you would listen to? Like City or like? Just, just you know, all over. Period. Period. In the city, like growing up, I was listening to like, Dave O, Tony, mm. Next to Blow. Um, let me see, Moose, I ain't gonna lie, I was big on Moose. I ain't Lil' Scooter, I was big on Lil' Scooter too. <clears throat> Yo was like, probably my favorite rapper, I ain't gonna lie, out of Baltimore. Young Scooter? I mean, uh, yeah, Scooter, yeah, hands down. But I, I fuck with Moose though, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Moose, cause Moose really be talking that shit. He really like the Baltimore Boosie to me, you feel me, type shit, you feel me? He like the Baltimore Boosie. Tech, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't listening to him back in the day. I really just started listening to him. He be talking that shit too. I ain't gonna lie. He make you wanna get a bag. You feel me? Yeah, make you really wanna go Jack get that talking. shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, he did. He be talking. You feel me? So like, they was the niggas I listened to like city wise, like industry wise. I was fuck. I was like, <laughs> like rich homie Quan. I was. I ain't gonna lie. I was fucking with Speaker Nuggets too. I fuck with Speaker Nuggets, Meek Mill. I wasn't big on Drake, but I was fucking with like Future. Um, the me ghost, them niggas, and then one little baby, and them niggas started coming out. Like I was fucking with Dirk too, but before you even got little old Dirk. Yeah, I was fucking with Bang Bros. You did no Bang Bros. Yeah, I was fucking you with did start saying, that you Dirk this? type shit. You That's feel 2013 me? Dirk. Yeah, you feel me? I was fucking with them niggas back then, type shit. You feel me? I fuck with the niggas now though. Like some niggas now, I fuck with them niggas now. You just gotta really listen to what them niggas saying, type shit. Like. Yeah, a lot of some rappers, they just be, they just be talking. Yeah. I never bumped Speaker Knox, though. I know he died, but I never listened yeah. to him. Yeah, I yeah. fought with Speaker Knox. He was different, too. I ain't gonna lie, I fought with him. If you could do a piece for anybody, like, from Baltimore, dead or alive, even niggas locked up, who would you pick? It's a couple of niggas. Um, Tech, I do a feature with Tech. I do a feature with um, D Nice. I fought with D Nice. Um, uh, let me see. It's a couple niggas. Um, couple niggas around my way. Them niggas really start rapping. My man YG. Do a feature with my man YG. He hard. My man Germs. GSG Germs. Um, just niggas around my way. You were like, you will put your homeboys on. Moose. I do you want with Moose. Mm. I fought with Moose. Yeah, that's like, you saw a ladder right yeah. there. Um, and, let me see. Chaz, both of the Chaz, OTR. And, and the SG. Both of uh, them. 
Not a lot in both of them. You try, so you you attack with basically that's basically the whole city. Yeah, you feel me? Type shit. I ain't gonna, it ain't really. I'm trying to get a bag, but I'm trying to get the city to get a bag too, cause it's like this city ain't really known for rapping. You feel me? So it's like. We just need to make a push for real. It don't matter how the fuck we make the push. Just make the shit. So we all, you feel me? Yeah, Get the bag and well, really shine really. for something different, you feel mm -hmm. me? Instead of shining for the murders and all that type shit, you feel me? So I really do a feature of lock in with a lot of niggas, you feel me? Just for just for the city to look good, you feel me? You yeah, feel me? I ain't that's really on no bullshit, you feel me? Niggas gotta get on mad time, you know? It's the niggas that you don't fuck with, the niggas that don't fuck with you. That's cool, you feel me? You worry about that shit later. We gonna make the city sound. We need some more money in the city, you feel me? Fuck all that, fuck all that other shit, you feel me? Nah, for real. You got to, you got, you see how Atlanta do shit. Everybody in Atlanta support everybody, and not everybody want to be in Atlanta. You feel me? Yeah. Baltimore, yeah. you don't really like. She don't like no big rap. Like it's niggas here like hard, like Roddy Tech. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People here hard, but it's just like. When people were trying to ball when they not look thinking, oh, that's where that rap was from. They think about some whole, some maybe the Ravens and some yeah, murders. Like, yeah, they not thinking like, about, they not thinking about that. So you really trying to spin the whole, change the whole narrative. Yeah, you feel me type shit. Like, I ain't with that other shit. You gonna have your falling outs with them niggas and all that. Mm -hmm. That's gonna fuck your money up. You feel me? How the fuck you gonna get money and you beefing type shit? You feel me? Like, oh, uh, facts. We'll be right back after y'all talk to our sponsors. Go, you know, check them out. Tell them again, boy. Go with your haircut by Darius. Yes, go. I'm in them stores. Like, fuck yeah, what is the score? Shit up there. At least four more. I don't do one pair. Got 350 on me. It ain't bust fair. How many doors? Shit, I'm fair. If I'm in the club, I mean a gun here. I'm married, cold two stacks. I got one way. Show up, it's the rookie wrist. I'm like, come here. A 36. That's one square. An extra band aid. I come there. You rock a 36. What was the inspiration behind your EP, Vacant Stories? Basically, like. Getting the different stories from the different vacant, my fault, from the different vacant houses for real. You feel me? You see a vacant house, you wonder what's the story behind it, you feel me? What the fuck happened for it, for what they get vacant type shit. <clears throat> or like, you feel me? That's it basically, like, what the fuck happened to it? Like, who sure. let it get vacant? How did you lose it? You type shit, you feel me? What was the story behind it type shit? Have you ever thought about taking your career to the next level with like sign or deal or anything like that? If somebody trying to sign me, I gotta see what they talking about first. You feel me? I wouldn't mind signing a deal. I just want to sign out too crazy. You feel me? But that's why people be fucking up. Like you gotta really know what you signing. You feel me? People just be going in, signing anything just so they can get that deal. You feel me? And say they got it. The whole time you getting, you feel me, you getting fucked up in the long run. Cause you don't even know what you getting. So I signed a deal, I just gotta really see what they talking about before I sign it, you feel me? Before I really dive in, dive into something, you feel me? You gotta make sure you know what you're dealing with. Yeah, before you really get into it, cause you'll be fucked up in the long run. So you got somebody currently trying to sign you right now? No, not right now. I ain't trying to have nobody. Try. I ain't got nobody trying to sign me right now. In the past, you feel me? There was a few people fighting with me, you feel me? To keep it G, there was a few people fighting with me. But some shit happened, you feel me? You know how shit happens. Right, of course. But at the end of the day, that don't mean nothing. You just work harder, work harder. You gotta work past it. There's probably been opportunities to come yeah, up. Yeah, you feel me? Push harder. Go back at that shit 10 times harder, you feel me? So you can get a, the better opportunity, you feel me? You get to really see where you fucked up at before to really capitalize on that now, you feel me? Really get that push to really go ahead and drop that bomb on them whenever you want to. Mm hmm, thanks. If you was, you know, the average time deal, what's some like, you know, what's some moves you would make, like financially, like? I really invest in like, you gotta invest in shit like stores and shit like stocks. Shit that people usually go to like the Walmarts, the, the malls, the shit like that, you feel me? Like shit that you know people really gonna do, you feel me? 
Like, let me see, like amusement park, shit like that. Like mm. fast food, fast food, shit like that. Shit like that go. Like, the more you invest your money, the more money you gonna get out in the long run. You feel me? The more shit you invest your money in, that you know that's gonna put, produce you a lot of money in the long run. That's what you go for. You feel me? You don't go for the the cars and the clothes and the jewelry and all that. You feel me? Not right away. Nah. You feel me? Not right away, cause that's where you fuck your money up at. You want to look flashy for them people, but in the end, you ain't got no money. Where the fuck all that money at? Mm -hmm. You want to sell that jewelry that you bust down back to the jewel and get way less than what you paid, you feel me? You feel me? Way less what you paid in the beginning. You gonna be like, damn, I shouldn't even did that. When you invest your money in something else, bang. Mm -hmm. Now you got consistent incomes, you feel me? Right, so you straight take the money and you don't invest it, like no spending, none of that. Still, yeah, still you feel spend me, the money, right? so you at the bottom. Yeah, you feel me. Not straight. Nah, I wouldn't say not spend it, you feel me, because you know you still got personal shit you got to get, like, you feel me? You still got family at the end of the day that mm. you got to look out for, you, you feel me? But <clears throat> still, you still got business to take care of at the end of the day type shit, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, because you're going to buy a couple of things. You feel me? Yeah, you're going to buy the, the car. You might get the car for yourself that you want, you feel me? You might buy the, you feel me? The shoes, the clothes, but you gotta invest your money to get more money. You feel me? At the end of the your day, business, type shit. You, at the end of the day, you gotta handle your business, bro. So, what's your thoughts like? Cause you know, like the bigger you get as a rapper, you're gonna be around like a lot of, you know, just new things, bigger yeah. things. So, what's your thought on, thoughts on, like the actual industry? Like, do you think like all that rap beef and stuff you were saying? You think that shit real? It's different, cause you feel me, like. You gotta really think about it at the end of the day. Outside this rap shit, most of these niggas is really gang members, you feel me? So it's like, they might exchange words at the industry, you feel me? They might get a show for the industry. But then, way back, you feel me? Somewhere else, they got other gang ties, you feel me? They got younger people, other people that's, I wouldn't even say younger. I just say other gang members, you feel me? That's tied into that beef still at the end of the day that they got with the other side, the other big rapper in the industry, you feel me? As they got other members, they still might be sliding at the end of the day. They still tie them, basically. You feel me, basically, mm. you feel me? So the shit be, I wouldn't say not real, but real and not real at the end of the day, because you feel me? Some shit they gonna speak on, some shit they not they not gonna speak on, you feel me, type right. shit. That's how people gotta look at it, you feel me? They gonna tell y'all what y'all want here, but at the end of the day, they probably still handling the business on both sides, you feel me? Even though people might be fucking with one side more than the other, you feel me? They both might be still handling the business, but still letting y'all hear what y'all wanna hear, you feel me? Yeah, that's how I work. People be too fat out, like, yeah, they would think they know everything, <laughs> like, they be like, oh, we gonna pick them, or we gonna pick dirt, you don't know. I'm, they, they really getting busy behind the closed door. They just put stuff out in the media, you know, to like, cause that's what they want to put out. People think they just brain surgery. They knew everything was going on with them. Not. Right. That's kind of backtrack here. So like, you started making music, well, getting into music, you were like, you said 10 years old, right? Yeah. Before that, like, did you like ever imagine yourself like even dealing with that? 10 years old was still a pretty early start, but before that you still had stuff to do. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really say that. No, not really. Because I was probably still, you know, I was a kid, so I was probably just still running around outside, playing around. You feel me? Playing football, basketball, getting in trouble, doing shit like that. I wasn't really mm. thinking about rapping, you feel me? It wasn't really something out the wound. I wouldn't say, you know, you know how a kid might have a throwback picture of them playing with a piano, or you feel me? Having a microphone in their hand. No, and a girl was coming at Yeah, you yeah. feel me? That wasn't me, you feel me? I got pictures like, I don't know, I'm standing, I got an outfit on, I'm standing outside with a with a juice in my hand or mm -hmm. we went on a trip somewhere, I'm standing somewhere, like, you feel me? I, I wasn't the one that really grew up rapping since like two or three and four and five, you feel me? So Tim was just like, I felt like, fuck it, I'ma play. Fuck it, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. <laughs> I did everything yeah, you else, you feel me? I'm 10, I'm just trying to explore something else, you feel me? So yeah, that's it. Just banging on shit, like, I like playing the drums too. I believe it or not, I like playing the drums, you feel me? So I was 
like banging on shit as a kid, get in trouble with my own mother. Stop banging on that shit. You making too much money. Put that shit down. Yeah, every every kid dealt with that, especially as a boy. What's a moment you would say like really like defines you as you? A moment in your life. When my brother died. Sorry for your loss. My little G Sosa. My brother died 2018. That shit really. That shit really changed me because it was like that year I took a lot of a lot of hits like back to back to back to back I'm talking back to back you feel me shit my life was going you feel me you feel me that shit was going downhill so that shit was really fucking with me at the end of the day that's when I really I wouldn't say turned up I really that's when I really slacked low key I really fell off the rap and shit. It just turned up my, I mean, like, I just turned up the, the real, you feel me? I, the rap and the real me, but the outside me, I just turned that up a little bit more, you feel me? Because I got shit I got handle now. I just real business I got to take care of, you feel me? So that's what really made me, that's what really made me go hard and really turn that shit up, really. It's time to really be a man. Even though I'm young, it's really time to really do this shit, really. Push and really go hard and really lock in. Focus on what I really got to do. So your brother dying was just like, really just a turning point in your life? Yeah, really. Not just my life, a lot of my niggas, you feel me? It was just a lot, cause it was like, like I said, we, we, we big on brotherhood, you feel me? Like, so it's like, we was all locked in. The whole project, <clears throat> the whole project is locked in, everybody. When he died, I fucked a lot of people up, like, Fuck me up. His nieces, his nephews, his the niggas he you feel me, his brother, his mother, all them like, you feel me, a lot of niggas, a lot I ain't gonna lie, people outside the projects too, you feel me. He had a lot of love, you feel me. You feel me, he was a good nigga. To be honest, a funny nigga, genuine nigga. Make you laugh in a heartbeat, you feel me. That's what really, you feel me, impact on their life. What do you see yourself in the coming years? If I really lock in. I'm gonna see myself really. I ain't gonna say being like at the top, top in the industry, but I see myself being somewhere really like big in music, you feel me? Whereas though, you feel me? A lot, a lot of people really notice me, you feel me? I ain't really big on the like fame type shit. I just really want the wealth type shit. I don't really want the fame, but I know the fame come with this shit, you feel me? So I'm trying to get to that point, if you get what I'm saying, whereas though I'm wealthy enough, you feel me, to support my family and, you feel me, the people that I, you feel me, fuck with, you feel me, the people that's my niggas, you feel me, that I love, whereas though I can support them, I'm trying to get to that point, you feel me, I ain't really in it for the fame type shit, like, I know that shit gonna come with it, though. Like, you think shit. you gonna be ready for it when it come? A lot of people, some, sure lot, some people, they just be like, no, that's Yeah, I mean, I should be, because it's like, I don't know. Basically, you just talking, it's not even talking, just doing it. Yeah. When you're doing it and not really worried about the people, you feel me? You, you just go with it. But when you love this shit, that's what make you do it. Even you feel me? That's what make you enjoy it. You feel me? So that's that's what I think is. That's 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 why I think I ain't really going. You feel me? too shy to really do this shit, you feel me? Cause I really, this something I really love, you feel me? It grew on me type shit, like I grew, I grew on, I, I grew a love for this shit, you feel me? Like, So I was like, when this shit come, I really think it's gonna be like natural. I ain't really gonna be. And your passion, your passion's for me. You feel me? Yeah, I ain't really gonna be, you feel me? Too shy to really do this shit, cause this, this something I really love and I know. My music probably touch other people, you feel me? So mm -hmm. me, right there in they face, doing it live, you feel me? That might do something to them, you feel me? You feel me? That might make them feel good a certain way, you feel me? Type shit. Really big picture of things. Mm -hmm. Any plans on like leaving Baltimore or you just wanna stay, stay here? I love the city, but I gotta get out the city, you feel me? Yeah. Not just me though. Me and my niggas, you feel me? I can't just do this shit for me, cause if I look back in the long run, they still fucked up in the city. I can't do that. They gonna look at me like, how the fuck you say you like your niggas? 
but they still in them trenches. Fucked up, you feel me? So when I go, we all gotta go. Mother, mm -hmm. father, mm -hmm. brother, sister, everybody. We gone. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Everybody, you feel me? Everybody need a new start, you feel me? A new environment, you see? New shit, you feel me? You live different, you move different, you feel me? Yeah, it might take a little minute, you feel me, but at least you gone. Type shit, you feel me? It's gonna open your mind more. Yeah, you feel me? You and get to explore, mind. you feel me? You get to go see different shit, get to go different places, you get to do different things, you feel me? You get to see how other people live, you feel me? You get to adapt to different environments, you feel me? You ain't gotta keep ducking from the gunshots, and you feel me? Mm. Running from the police, and you feel me? Worrying about somebody, you feel me? Robbing you every day. A junkie gotta rob you, a junkie trying to kill you, somebody trying to kill you for some for some money, for some drugs, anything, you feel me, type shit, like, nigga hating on you, you got some chains, anything, you got some watches, anything, nigga want that shit, nigga gonna try to take that shit, you feel me, type shit, bro, like, nigga be hating on a nigga, bro, that's why I'm trying to get the fuck out of here, me and my niggas, everybody, gone. Yeah, you think I'm gonna wave down level, bro, like, and you gonna, you gonna get to that point, for real. Is there any um, last words you want to make? Any shout-outs you want to, you know, say anybody you want to give shout-outs to? Shout-out to my niggas, man. Shout-out to my niggas posted on the P, man. Shout-out to the Trenches. Shout-out to my niggas posted on the M. Free the hood. Free everybody. Free baby just. Free John. Free the OPP. Yeah. Yeah, I already know what's up. Y'all heard it first here. Thank you for coming up. I appreciate you. That's Project Quan. I want y'all to stay tuned in with Moment Spotlight. And y'all stay prepared for your Moment Spotlight. We out.